Hello friends, subscribe technology and press the bell button to regular updates. So at first you need to download uh, Oracle VM box on your computer and as well as you have to download Windows Server 2012 ISO file. So I, I will going to show you how to download these two files. So for the VM virtual box you need to go to this website after that click on this download virtual box 5.2 is the latest, latest version. So for Windows you have to click on this Windows host okay. So I am not going to download this again because I have already downloaded and installed it on my computer and you have to download windows server 2012 from this website the microsoft website so yeah so as you can see there is a uh, lots of version version is available so you have to download uh, this this version so for standard sta standard uh, windows server 2012 so after that click on register and here you need to type your first name and then last name your company name if you don't have any company then don't worry just put here student so put here student if you don't have any company so after that here you need to put uh, your working working email id uh, like your uh, your email id also like i will put a uh, trick no logi at the rate gmail.com whatever you want and after that you have to uh, put your working phone number so I will put my number here and after that here you need to choose your country which country you are belong from and after that you have to click on this continue button so click over there and after that you will get please choose your file type that's mean ISO or VHD standard or VHD uh, data center so I will choose you have to choose here ISO so after that click on continue and as you can see it uh, showing me to product language so I will choose my language is English and after that click on this download button so now as you can see one download one file is automatically download on my computer is 4.4.34 GB as you can see here it is so I'm going to cancel it so after download the Windows Server 2012 on your computer you have to install the virtual uh, VM virtual box on your computer after that you have to open and then click on this new button here over here and after that here you need to put Windows Server 2012 whatever you want and after that you have to put next then from here you have to choose your memory how much memory you want to choose for these uh, virtual machine so after that click on next then create then next then don't make any changes just click on next and create so after that you have to click on the start button when it's done so now from here you have to select your iso file which you have already downloaded as you can see i'm going to click on here over here and i'm going to select that iso file which i am downloaded from that website so click on open then click on start so now <coughs> As you can see, it's the it's showing loading files. So now it will take some time to install it. So you have to. I will show you how to do that. So it's showing state setup is starting. So now you have to choose uh, the your version data center or standard so with uh, GUI means graphical user interface and I will choose a standard for this and after that click on next and after that you have to create one partition for it so as you can see 131 GB partition is created automatically and after that click on next so now it will take some time to installing all the set of files on your computer so you have to wait
so here here is a, a windows server 2012 so as you can see so all are working properly so i hope this video will really help for you and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and like button and share button and if you have any queries or question then comments below 